But first up, Mel's got something to toot about. If you're having a day out at Sydney Olympic Park, one place you must see is the Newington Armoury. But if you want to see the armoury at the armoury, there's only one way to do it. And that's by train. All aboard for Riding the Rails, a 30-minute trip around the former armoury site. Not only will you get to visit parts of the site you just can't see otherwise, there's some history thrown in. And our guide today is Lorraine Wilson. It was a storage, maintenance and supply facility for the Navy. Lighters, they were concrete and timber barges, would travel up the Parramatta River to the ships docked in Sydney Harbour. The train was used to move the explosives around the Newington site, and the buildings were often designed to house certain dangerous materials, like these cordite stores. Now, cordite hated humidity. And these buildings were all built at a time before air conditioning. Next up is the Armoury Museum, which houses torpedoes in the front room and missiles in the back. It's quite a collection, but don't worry, the blue bands mean that everything here is inert. Meaning if there's blue anywhere on it, it means it's not active, is that right? That would be correct. OK, so we're safe. We're very safe. <laughs> We're even safe from the long-range Harpoon guided missile, which is still in use by the Navy today. And it costs a pretty penny. To purchase one of these, you would need two and a quarter million dollars. And ships that can carry these carry multiples. It's big bucks, isn't it? Yes. It's amazing to think of just how many weapons were stored out here and that they were transported around the site by the very same train we're travelling on today. The ride also takes you through the Narrowong wetlands and the Newington Nature Reserve, which is virtually as it was before the first settlement. It's a wonderful thing that the forest has survived. If it had been exposed to the public, there's every chance it would not. And once it's over, take the time to check out some of the other buildings on the Armoury site that are going off. <laughs> OK, so I've checked out the arms. Now it's time to check out the arts. This is the Armoury Gallery, another former munitions storehouse that now houses a heap of cutting edge exhibitions. The manager of art programming, Tony Nesbitt. What a huge wall for a It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, well, we, we've got 500 square metres of space here and that wall to my right, 37 metres long, the largest uninterrupted gallery wall in the country. That is a good claim to fame. It is indeed. <laughs> so what can you see here? What kind of exhibitions do you have? Okay, we've generally got five or so exhibitions a year, anchored by iconic shows like Art Express. We have uh, uh, design exhibitions, we have uh, Operation Art, another partnership with the Department of Education, right through to pretty edgy contemporary art shows as well. And there's no entry fee, so feel free to come in and soak it all up before it's time to shoot through. Now I've had a shot of history and a shot of culture. Now all I need is a shot of coffee. When I find the nearest cafe, I'll be there like a shot. <laughs> Get fired up by riding the rails at Newington Armoury. It's on every Sunday and it's just five bucks each. Book in on 971 And Sydney Olympic Park has got plenty of ammo to keep your troops entertained. Check it all out at sydneyolympicpark.com.au.